associates in orthopedics and sports medicine with offices in Dalton and Calhoun. Giving 100% just another job for Christian Heritage Junior Catherine Green. Besides being on the basketball team, she plays volleyball and is on student council. And she'll tell you the formula for success starts with good organization skills. I have to just make sure that to not waste time, especially on days when I have a lot of homework and stuff and just work hard and not procrastinate and do what I have to do. And um, I make sure to get as much sleep as I can because otherwise it just gets hard. Catherine's a great athlete. Uh, she works hard uh, on the floor and she obviously works hard in the classroom to keep the grades she has. Uh, she's an excellent student. Uh, she's very coachable. She listens well. Uh, she does the things that we ask her to do. Um, and she's just a great player to have. So how does she do when it comes to schoolwork? The numbers speak for themselves. A 4.0 grade point average and she's always willing to share her success with her teammates. I just tell them to try their hardest in everything they do, especially in school. A lot of times people get frustrated because they don't understand, and if you just work your hardest and get the help you need, then you can do fine. And a lot of times on basketball court, what will happen is you'll just get down and you just won't um, be able to do anything. You won't be able to shoot well or whatever it might happen that night, and you just have to work your hardest at what you can do and a lot of times that'll be defense and just try and get steals and try to work and do what you can for the team. And the influence Catherine's had on her team has been motivational as well. I think that her hard work, not just on the floor but also in the classroom, can also make other people work harder um, than maybe they do. Uh, and I think that she is, she's able to help people when they struggle in the classroom. Uh, she tutors a lot of them sometimes, um, just when they don't get a math problem or something like that. Um, and then, you know, her work ethic on the court, um, you know, is the same as her work ethic at home and her studies. But besides racking up numbers on the stat sheet or in the classroom, it's what doesn't show up on paper that makes this scholar athlete stand out the most. I try to be vocal and when we get down or our attitudes get down or whatever, then I try to pick people up and just, just try to do my best all the time. And doing the best is what she'll continue to do both on and off the court. With your Scholar Athlete of the Week, I'm Jeremy Babin, Newswatch 10 Sports.